By comparing quantities, we mean finding out which quantity is smaller and which quantity is greater and by how much. Quantity also includes distance, speed, height, area, price, etc. Distance between Delhi and Mumbai is equal to 1500 kilometers and the distance between Delhi and Hardwar is 200 kilometers. Thus, distance between Delhi and Mumbai is greater than the distance between Delhi and Hardwar by 1300 kilometers. Similarly, we can compare heights of two people, speed of two cars, areas of two fields and prices of two shirts. In this chapter, we will study the following concepts. Ratio and Proportion Percentage, Profit, Loss and Simple Interest Ratio When we compare two quantities of the same kind using the method of division, we say that we have formed a ratio of the two quantities. Usually, we use the symbol shown here to express a ratio. We can say that the ratio of the weight of Anuj to that of Sunil is 15 is to 45. The numbers A and B in the ratio A is to B are known as the first term or antecedent and the second term or consequent respectively. Thus, it is clear that a ratio can be expressed as a fraction. For example, the ratio of the lengths of two towers A and B is equal to the length of tower A upon length of tower B which is equal to 1 upon 2. Thus, the length of the tower A is to length of the tower B is equal to 1 is to 2. Some important facts about ratios. In a ratio, the order of terms is very important. That is, the ratio 3 is to 4 is different from the ratio 4 is to 3. That is, 3 is to 4 is not equal to 4 is to 3. Ratio exists between quantities of the same kind. That is, we cannot write ratio between height of a man and the weight of a man. The two quantities compared in a ratio must be expressed in the same unit. That is, ratio between 125 cm and 1 meter 50 cm is equal to ratio between 125 cm and 150 cm. That is, 5 is to 6. Ratio has no unit. That is, the names of units are not used in a ratio. Ratio is a number only. A ratio remains unchanged if each term of the ratio is multiplied or divided by the same non-zero number. That is, 3 is to 4 is equal to 3 upon 4, multiply and divide by 2. We get 6 upon 8 which is equal to 6 is to 8. Thus, 3 is to 4 is equal to 6 is to 8. Similarly, 6 is to 8 is equal to 3 is to 4. Equivalent Ratios we already know that a fraction does not change when its numerator and denominator are multiplied or divided by the same non-zero number. So, a ratio also does not alter if its first and second terms are multiplied or divided by the same non-zero number. For example, take a ratio 40 is to 25. On multiplying the first and the second term by 2, we get 80 is to 50. Now again take 40 is to 25. On dividing the first and second term by 5, we get 8 is to 5. Then we can say 40 is to 25, 80 is to 50 and 8 is to 5 as equivalent ratios. Ratio in the simplest form. A ratio A is to B is said to be in the simplest form if its antecedent A and consequent B have no common factor except 1. A ratio in the simplest form is called a ratio in the lowest terms. For example, convert 15 is to 20 in its lowest term. HCF of 15 and 20 is 5. 15 is to 20 is equal to 15 upon 20. That is, 3 is to 4. Proportion Let us consider the four numbers 3, 6, 8 and 16. Here the ratio of the first and the second number is 3 is to 6, which is equal to 3 upon 6, that is 1 upon 2, and ratio of the third and fourth numbers is 8 is to 16, which is equal to 8 upon 16, that is 1 upon 2. Thus, we find that the two ratios are equal, that is, the ratio of the first and the second number is equal to the ratio of the third and the fourth number. Then we say, 
that these numbers are in proportion. Thus, if A, B and C, D are four numbers such that ratio of A and B is equal to ratio of C and D, then A, B, C, D are said to be in proportion and we read it as A is to B as C is to D. We call A, B, C and D the four terms of the proportion. Here A and D are called extreme terms and B and C are called means or the middle terms. Also, A is to B is equal to C is to D. It implies A upon B is equal to C upon D. It also means A into D is equal to B into C. Thus, A, B, C and D are in proportion if the product of extremes is equal to the product of means. Here is an example based on proportion. Scale Ratio Scale ratio is equal to scale measure by actual measure or actual measure is equal to scale measure by scale ratio. Scale ratio is used to calculate the real dimension of the objects. Here, scale is used to draw the map of Punjab is 1 is to 40 lakhs. That is 1 centimeter on map represents 40 kilometer in reality. What is the distance between Jalandhar and Chandigarh? If it is 4.2 centimeters on map, thus the actual distance between Jalandhar and Chandigarh is equal to scale measure by scale ratio. 4.2 upon 1 by 40 lakhs is equal to 4.2 into 40 lakhs centimeter is equal to 168 lakhs centimeter is equal to 168 kilometer.